Hi, this is Dan Ritchie, and I'm going to be showing you some of the uh, more interesting features of Project Dog Waffle. I'm going to start with the particle system. We call this the OptiPustix panel, and I'll load that from the Windows menu here. As you can see, there's a, uh, a full-blown particle system with mass, gravity, and all this sort of stuff. I'm going to just load in some settings. Uh, and what you can do with this tool, uh, as a drawing tool, you can use this as uh, for creating grass and um, all sorts of interesting things. I'm going to load in one called the, uh, ooh, I don't know, Serious Grass, and I'll just show that as a drawing tool. Um, note it's, it's running a little slow right now because the uh, full screen video capture I'm doing for this demo, but it is a very interactive tool uh, normally. And um, I'll show you a few of the other tools. Uh, I'll show and sh one called Broccoli Trails, and I'll just draw a little something there just to show you can draw trees. Uh, you can also edit the uh, the colors and the, the brush tr type. You could actually uh, use any of uh, Project Doc Waffle's uh, built-in natural brushes um, to uh, draw these things with, or you can use uh, uh, just the lines like I'm using here. You can also set their color and opacity using a gradient and uh, you can edit a gradient uh, with drag and drop like doing this to define the uh, colors that you're drawing you see them uh, updated over here I'll just close that to uh, show you how I modified the colors there you also have a opacity channel uh, which you can uh, which you can modify also and that changes the uh, sort of appearance of, uh, of fading out as it goes out toward the end of the branches um, I'll also show you how you can use this as an animation tool. I'll uh, clear the screen to black and uh, create a new animation. And let me just load in a basic setting. Uh, I'll load grass, which is just a, uh, a particle that doesn't split into other particles. And I'll just modify it slightly with a new, uh, new color less green in it. Make it more like particles. Get rid of some of that blue. Could also do that with a drag and drop. Uh, so I'll just show that. I'll give this a slightly longer lifespan. And go ahead and draw a stroke here. And I'll undo that and uh, I'll load the stroke player and this just lets you play back uh, your last stroke in uh, various ways and I'll just apply it to all frames so I'll hit replay and as you can see it's using it just like a particle system there and you also have the option of using uh, like I was saying before uh, different types of brushes there's also a brush called the Nova which is a sort of um, sort of a lens flare type of thing let me replay that uh, there we go. And as you can see, it's just drawing these little uh, little uh, star-like uh, glowy things. And you can make them bigger or smaller. And uh, that's uh, the particle system.